hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the empire my name is cj i do beauty and lifestyle content in this channel if you're new here hi if you are a regular subscriber and you know you've been holding it down since day one thank you so much for sticking around how you guys doing i hope everyone is fine i hope everyone is good um so today i have another video another top video so in this video i in this channel i tend to do uh what are they called sit down videos to talk about lessons in life things that we go through on a daily you know just the regular things that happen but in this video today i want to talk about how you can ship and shop from china or alibaba and ship them here in kenya and start a small business it was requested by one of you and so i decided probably so many of us are going through the same thing and would want to learn so that's here I brought, and this that's why this video is here so if that is something that you'll be interested in learning i don't know why i can't talk if that is something you're interested in learning or knowing please stick around and feel free and watch this video until the end and please don't forget to comment like subscribe and share it really really mean a lot to my channel so if you're new to my channel i recently started a small jewelry business that explains why i am over accessorized because i'm here to advertise my you know the things that i sell so these earrings the rings which comes in a set of seven or six i can't remember correct but around that line and these chains are all in my store they're all available in my store at chains and charms on instagram it's an online fashion uh, online jewelry store so if you're interested you can check it out patronize my business they're not so expensive they're good quality and i promise you the price is also good so how did i come up with this um idea to want to ship in uh jewelry okay growing up we used to live with a certain lady and she used to work in the boys and let me tell you she used to come home with the earrings to clip them on like when they had brought orders now their bosses would give them some earrings and uh, the cards to go home and clip them so that when tomorrow they come they just put them in the store so i used to really love it i used to really admire what she was doing i used to feel like this is what i want to do and the, she's she's also the same person who kind of like made me love makeup that much as much as i i used to love it when i was still in primary i used to love lip gloss not makeup as i used to love lip gloss i couldn't survive without lip gloss i used to lip gloss and powder that's besides the story so she kind of like took me to her workplace one day that was my first time stepping in dubois that day at dubois it wasn't known the only makeup that was available at that time was rose leaf and so many they used to sell a lot of jewelry it's not like right now where they're selling a lot of ring a lot of um things it used to just be earrings so now it's not like right now there's so many that lipsticks and all that kitambo there used to be just one lipstick if you're an og you know signature lipsticks that is what was there then so she took me there i saw it and i fell in love with it so i don't know i never thought that i really wanted to do it because me i've never had like i want to do something like this so but when i started doing makeup i realized that every time i would buy earrings i just love earrings that make statements i love you guys have seen all my earrings that are wearing this channel i love earrings that make statements and all that else so that's what i figured then sometimes most people ask me where can i get those earrings and stuff like this i was like oh maybe people love the kind of taste that i have on jewelry so maybe I can stop shipping so i wanted to know how to ship so what i did sorry is go uh, to the play store and it downloaded alibaba and aliexpress so i thought it was easy for me to uh, start from aliexpress only to realize that I, I i felt like it was cheap which it's actually not expensive but it is not the cheapest so i thought maybe i should start so i, used, I kept on putting things to carts but i never used to close the cart because of the part of um shipping how i wanted it to be shipped which address and all that i didn't have an address at that moment that i wanted the things to be shipped to uh okay i thought i'd use a pure box it just wasn't making sense at some point it wasn't moving and then they wanted payment method to be in the bank i didn't have any money in the bank i had an account but i was flat i didn't have and then you know Ali, Ali, aliexpress you can you can um convert into kenyan shillings and aliexpress you can actually pay via impesa i don't know if it's there nowadays because i haven't logged in there for so long but with alibaba you can only pay through paypal and uh through visa cards and mastercards and all that so i decided okay let me check on um alibaba so i downloaded alibaba 
I tried to go through it uh, to understand it I started doing research on YouTube how can ship and all that not even this year not even last year like just a few years back it's just that I never really took the step and initially to do it so I went to Alibaba I downloaded the app I did my research I used to hear people say this is what you should look for look for this when you want to shop and all that uh, on Alibaba and stuff like that so I decided to take the risk so what I needed was a shipping company and some money that's just basically the most important part of the shipping of uh, things and the process you just need a shipping company and you have some money and actually to know what you want and to find a supplier now this is what is happening when you go to alibaba i'm, I'm gonna try and put a screen whatever a recording here if i can but when you go to alibaba you when you download it you create an account just like you would create an instagram account and everything an account that will enable you to view the you know the the site okay so you sign in or you sign you sign in or you sign up whichever way just like that you get an account and all that and then you'll have a category of things so it's up to you to just check so my preference is fashion and jewelry so i'll go to jewelry you see all types of jewelries you want jewelries that are in, are on trend and all that and things that you love now from that from that you click um one of the sub the the sellers or anything so you click and then it has chart start chart you can start chart from there you can put into carts but now into cart there's an option of you shipping to a shipping agent or you using your address and figuring out how it can get to you so it has different uh uh what is it called different days of getting to you and different amount charge per shipping on how depending on your shipping address if you're using your own shipping it takes longer and also it's a bit expensive if you use a shipping agent it's kind of it's, it's a bit um lower and also it gets to you faster now my i did that now my 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 problem my biggest problem was getting a shipping company because i didn't know where to start so i started googling i asked people around a uh, good thing my brother had worked with shipping companies here and there so i asked him for advice he gave me one i used that shipping company the first time i brought my things okay let me clarify something the first time the first time i ordered things i ordered from shane because i thought it was easy to order from shane because i already on instagram there are pages um that ship things from uk us and all that now the problem is shane gets their things from china alibaba and then they take it to the us or uk whichever i don't know which chain company is and then now it's routed back to kenya which is expensive it's very expensive buying from china taking it there and then it comes back to you it was quite expensive because that company was charging 1800 per kg which is quite expensive and it was it's called um Aquanto is really nice. It's really nice, especially if you're shipping things from, let's say, UK and US. It's a very nice company. I would highly recommend. Uh, there are so many shipping companies on Instagram, Malahide and all that. There are so many that ship from UK, Dubai and all that. But it's so hard on Instagram to get a shipping company that ships from China. So that is where now the struggle is. And I know that is where so many people are struggling in to get a shipping agent. So I've, as I've said, I talked to my brother and then he sent me a shipping, ad a shipping agent who might talk to on whatsapp he sent me the shipping address and then now i started looking for a supplier so when you go to alibaba for you to know a genuine supplier because there's all this drama of maybe you might be conned and all that mostly when you look you get something that is so attractive and so beautiful you want to order mostly something that is unique and it's not uh, uh it's, you have not seen it anywhere most of those people that do that actually do not have a trade assurance or they're not like genuine sellers what do i mean by trade assurance trade assurance is like um it's like alibaba is sure of these people that are selling on their site so they have like a certification or they've been given some kind of a go ahead so they have like a badge to tell you that this company has a trade assurance now when you google when you click on a supplier and you go to details and check it will tell you that this person has a trade assurance normally uh, or it's verified so you will see it's verified it's written with a blue verified and trade assurance is there so when you see such a company then you can go ahead and start you know browsing through their 
profile and seeing what you like and you can start a chat talk to one of their agents because that's what i do i talk to agents i talk to people i chat okay online i chat with them despite the time uh difference uh, it's not the same but i always get feedback uh on time or i get feedback in quite a good amount of time so you chat with them when you're chatting with them you you send them your your screenshots and the kind of pictures the kind of things that you like and they have a quantity something called moq now with alibaba now there's a minimum order quantity there's a number you cannot order but then again you don't have to order in bulk nowadays because the supplies that i've found i can even take two items one item three item like that so like I can take like uh, one pair of earrings and they'll just find they will ship it but I'll have to now uh, take it with other things you get me like I don't need to take like 50 pairs of these 50 pairs of another style and all that because also money wise it's not um, it's not if you're beginning it's not advisable to use a large amount of money so once you're done talking to your supplier and you send them whatever you want to have and they explain to you all these things they're gonna ask you now where do we ship your stuff your things now you have confirmed that they have a trade assurance and everything or do all these chats under Alibaba please do not chat with them outside of Alibaba do that under Alibaba because it has a trade assurance and it's a protection policy if anything goes wrong and your money goes missing it's like I think they are not paid until your product is delivered so if you if you if they they kind of like con you and stuff you can uh, rant on Alibaba and they can actually refund your money back so don't do it outside if they send your whatsapp number just make sure that that company is is verified and it has a trade assurance and it's like a legit company you can google it on google and actually find it so then now you can check their website if the number is there now you can chat with them from there are we are we together up to that point i hope i'm not trembling so once you have sent them whatever you want the quantity and the details and everything they will put a, a a very nice list for you and tell you you want these round earrings four pieces this amount you want this set of earrings 10 pieces this amount like they put for you a very nice pdf and then they ask you is this what you want you'll be like yeah that's what i want this is the total amount they they let you know this is the total amount this is how much it's gonna cost to ship from our hair warehouse to your warehouse in china now remember the warehouse their warehouse they are sending it to for you in china is the address that you've been given by your shipping company here in kenya so that's why i say you have to do a due diligence on shipping companies the first one i used was called salia africa i think they closed it down because i couldn't use them the second time this is my third time shipping the first one I, as i said i shipped from shane which was quite not a good idea the second one i shipped with uh, salia africa i think but i couldn't get them the next time i think the company closed down or something salia africa was good because you used to charge 1300 $13 per kg and you, they would actually accept even if your 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 package comes 1 kg they would actually charge you 1 kg now the problem with most of these shipping companies now is that they're not charging if you bring something below 2 kgs they will still charge you 2 kgs they charge 1300 per kg but the minimum quantity that they 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 charge is 2 kg i hope that makes sense like even if you bring something home that is one kg they will charge it at two kg that is now the disadvantage because now it will add an expense to your earrings or whatever you're shipping and then now the cost will go higher and then you'll be forced to price your things a bit higher now that is one problem uh the one that i'm using now it was quicker the one that i used when i shipped these earrings i've put up a vlog about it they were quick uh, i think i got my things within a week of ordering they were quick but they are expensive that's the problem they're a bit expensive in the sense that they do not charge if your goods are one kg they don't charge one kg they charge you two kgs so because i'm a small business person and i don't want to spend a lot of money you can start with as low as ten thousand shillings that is the amount i started with um yeah initially when i started i started with 10k 10k in this case has catered for the goods i bought from china it has catered for the shipping uh the shipping it has catered for even bringing it from the warehouse in Isli up to my place or me sending a rider you see that's a bit fair so when you come down sit down you divide the quantity of stuff that you have plus the amount of money you have used at the end of the day you still get these things at a very fair price compared to them being bought here at home does it make sense so I'm not gonna lie and sit here and tell you that for you to 
get the shipping company that I used, I need you to pay me for me to tell you. I've seen people doing that and I just find it a bit awkward. Okay, as much as I have hustled to get these shipping companies and I've hustled to get the suppliers, the only thing I cannot share with you is the suppliers because the supplier, uh, yeah, the little in me, the supplier that I got last time uh, is not the supplier that I used this time. So because I'm still learning the streets, I cannot really give you the supplier because the one I used last time I tried to communicate with them and they wasn't communicating back so I got another supplier and they didn't quite have actually have everything that I wanted but they delivered on time so once you order from Alibaba and then you tell your supplier whatever you want they're gonna ship it from wherever they are let's say the city that your shipping agent is in china is not the same as the shipping uh the supplier that you have selected so they will charge you a fee of taking it to that place which is roughly between two dollars to five dollars taking it to the warehouse and then now your warehouse can send it here so what you do is that you don't pay the shipping fee to the shipping fee now for um, the shipping fee that you pay alibaba or you pay your supplies the one that they will use to take your goods from their warehouse or their factory to your warehouse in china and then that warehouse will bring you here so that one is included in the when they give you the the invoice it is included there and everything so you just pay that amount and alibaba has a direct way of paying so it will tell you this is your order the next thing the next step is go to payment that has a link go to payment click the link go to payment it will give you choices whether you want to pay via the bank whether you want to pay via paypal i normally use my bank uh one that does not have funds so what i do is that i when i want to pay I put funds equivalent to what they've asked so and then my bank will just pay it in dollars that is what I do back home and then I make sure after I've done that uh, that um, transaction there's no money left in my bank because now when I'm doing an online business and I'm doing not an online business when I'm doing online transaction I really don't like having that account that I'm using with money in it because you know things can happen it can be you know all that and stuff like that so i really avoid using that account for savings so i just use it to pay and that's it so depending on your bank you can decide to do that so well, that's pretty much it and then now once it arrives to your warehouse uh your warehouse will text you or will call you and tell you that because now this supplier has put your details on the box they will tell you that your goods are in the warehouse they will be shipped at a certain day the one that i used this time they were called something gate they were really nice they're very they have very good communication skills i really love them they are called i don't know i can't remember something gate i'll just write it here and i'll in the screen while i'm editing and just give it to you guys if you want to you can just go ahead and and and, and uh check them out which is a good thing so that is what you do and then now once your goods arrive and the warehouse in isli they will send you a message in your phone and tell you that their goods, your goods are here and they sent it the exact day they said that my goods will be here so your goods are here you can send someone or they can send a, a rider to bring it to you it's, it's as easy as that by the way it's as easy as that it's not as complicated as people will make we may want it to seem the only thing you need to be care, careful about is checking the um, trade assurance and the verification once your supplier has a trade assurance and they're verified you're good to go find a find a shipping agent here then they give you their address you forward it to your supplier in china and that's it they will take your goods to the shipping company and that's how you start and you don't need a lot of money so at the end of the day you come back home try and divide all this cash you'll still make something little out of it and it's actually a good business if you have the market for it is actually a good business it might be slow as you start like it is for me right now but it's actually a good business so i hope i've shared shed some light on that and i hope this video helps someone if you have some questions please just leave them down in the comment section and i will answer them next when we come back so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i love you so much and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye